Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. We have some news about a new Apple iPhone hack. So if you're using Apple, stick around. You're not going to want to miss this uh, information. Now, first, guys, if you have not, please go over and donate to the animals at Emory Farm Sanctuary. These guys are a small sanctuary. It's a 501c, so anything you donate is deductible from your taxes. We just had tax day yesterday, and uh, if, if you guys want to reduce your tax liability, this helps, and it helps to, to help these animals out as well. So please go donate to them. We do have that raffle going on for that hand-drawn portrait of your pet as well. So please go over and donate to them. If you want to be in the drawing for that portrait, send your pic a picture of your donation over to me and I will get you guys entered into that. Okay, so let's hop over to this article. This is an article from uh, Cointelegraph, but it, it's from Trust Wallet, which is a hot crypto wallet that it's kind of like phantom or metamask or coinbase wallet and it says disable iMessages asap to avoid crypto zero day exploit okay so trust wallet came out with a, a couple tweets um yesterday and said alert for ios users we have credible intel regarding a high risk zero day exploit targeting iMessage on the dark web. This can infiltrate your phone without clicking any link. High value tar targets are likely. Each use raises detection risk. Recommended action to guard against the iMessage exploit, disable iMessages ASAP until Apple patches this. So a couple things there. This is alarming because it's coming from a crypto wallet company. Like these guys are concerned, which raises concern that this hack is something that somebody can do and they don't need your seed phrase. Apparently, maybe they're remotely taking control of your phone where they don't need to enter your, your seed phrase. They're actually inside your phone working things. I don't know what, I don't know exactly the details on that, but it is alarming that this is coming from a, tr uh, a crypto wallet company, which raises a lot of concern for any crypto user that is using Apple products. Now guys, Apple has had some major security issues lately. It was just two or three weeks ago, they had another zero day exploit where the hackers had hacked into the CAPTCHA screen on Apple's site, which the CAPTCHA screen is, you know, that box with uh, pick all the boxes that have a bus in it. And so they had hacked that. They were able to take over users' accounts. They wiped their phones and they were able to, to control their accounts. I don't think that one... I don't know, unless unless you had really poor security crypto wise anyways, they probably couldn't have gotten gotten into your hot wallets. However, this new uh, dark web hack that these guys are talking about, apparently they don't need your seed phrase or any kind of like they're just taking control of your phone. So big security issues with Apple guys, I would turn off that iMessage if you are using I, uh, Apple. Apple hasn't responded, not that I have seen, to this hack that's apparently available. So I don't know, I don't know what's, what's going on guys. But again, guys, this goes back to security and, and with Solana, the new Saga phone, You've got that extra chip in the phone that guards all of your seed phrases. So 
guys, this, I, I don't know how to stress this enough. This phone, this new Saga phone is the most secure crypto phone that you can possibly have. Okay, so if you guys do want to get into this, go over and check it out at solanamobile.com. It's this is the chapter two, and just a lot of really cool features. Where you're looking at a early adopter window right now of five hundred dollars for the phone. It won't be shipping till twenty twenty five. So there is that, guys. But as I've shown you guys over and over again, I I got in to the earliest uh, phase of this pre-order, and I have received so many airdrops already from this this uh, phone that I don't even have that it's almost paid itself off already. And I just got another one yesterday, guys. This is the new one that I got yesterday. This is Woofy. This is some kind of meme coin. Uh, but it was just an airdrop that I got just because I had ordered the phone. This one was a little bit different. I had to actually go over to woofy.io and I had to go, uh, go down to this claim now which I, I got, uh, it's about $25 worth of, of Woofy that I ended up getting for just owning this, this phone. But another reason why you might want to think about getting into this chapter two, it's paying itself off. It's the most secure phone that you can possibly have. If you guys want to get into that, I do have a referral code in the description of this video. Please help me out and use that code if you are going to get the phone. Um, but, you know, guys, this this fixes a lot of security issues. And on top of that, you're not you, it has its own DAP store. So the, the apps in that DAP store are decentralized and the app. So the DAP store itself is decentralized, so it's not killing developers like Apple and Google are with their 30% tax. And, you know, that's why Apple is in this monopoly lawsuit with the DOJ right now, because they're, they're completely screwing people over left and right. So this takes, takes care of a lot of that guys. Now, another Thing with news on Solana, Solana just rolled out an update to tackle network congestion. You guys remember in a few videos uh, prior to this, I kind of reported that uh, the Solana network was having congestion. And I said that it had affected me. It, it probably took me, there was one time, and I deal with Solana every day. So, I mean, almost every day, but there was one time where I probably had three transactions failed and I, it probably took me two minutes to end up getting it to go through, but it was annoying and it, it is a big deal that they needed to fix. Apparently they've rolled out a patch for that. Now, as, as far as how soon that patch will kind of uh, go into effect, you know, when all the validators start running that. I don't know, but hopefully this will be fixed soon. The other thing I will say, guys, is I had that one time where my transactions, I, I had to send it like three or four times, to cost me about two minutes of my time. But I've used it every day since then, and I haven't had a single issue with any of it. So it hasn't, it hasn't been slow for me. I'm seeing all these uh, posts on Twitter about it being slow and transactions failing, but guys, I've only experienced that one day over the last three weeks or so. And the rest of the time it's been business as usual. So I don't know if I'm just getting lucky or, or what's going on, but I haven't noticed a big deal. So a, a lot of it was reported that it was bots that were trading 
you know, in and out of cryptocurrency with Solana. And so that's, those were the failed transactions. So maybe that's what's going on. And I wasn't, I just being a normal user, I haven't been affected. I don't know, but anyways, they have rolled out that patch. It should be fixed soon. And hopefully they're, they're working on getting fire dancer, uh, rolled out, which would greatly expand the, um, scalability and the network transactions and everything of Solana, which will be big, big news for, for all of that. So anyways, guys, if you want to get into, uh, the saga, please remember to use my, my, uh, referral link in the description, go over and donate to the animals at Emory farm sanctuary. And if you are using Apple, Make sure you turn out off your iMessage app because uh, it's it's a security risk at this point. Until Apple comes out with a patch with it, guys, you're probably gonna have to to stop using the iMessage. Anyways, guys, that is the video for today. I will see you in the next one. Bye.